Well, it's 6.17, and time now for What's Trending. A new champion of the Alaska's famed Iditarod has been crowned. Brent Sass from Minnesota crossed the finish line early Tuesday morning to win the 2022 Iditarod Sled Dog Race. And this was his first victory. Sass says he got support from all over the state and world before this year's race, telling him it was his time. But still, his race wasn't without challenges as a blizzard took them off course. Sass says that he couldn't have done it without his uh, dogs, and Sass had 11 dogs at the finish line The race with a finishing time of 8 days, 14 hours, 38 minutes, and 43 seconds. And that is the third fastest winning time on the Northern Route. And definitely a really cool race there. Uh, well known all over the world. And, and something I've always wanted to do is just go like on a sled dog ride. <laughs> right? You know what's actually interesting? For the first time ever, I went to Alaska okay. a week and a half ago. I went dog sledding, and guess what? I actually saw them uh, starting from Anchorage. Okay. Yeah, That's really that was cool there. Yeah. So how... You were also telling me there was a big snowstorm that day as well? Yes, yes. They actually got a, a foot of snow out there, mm -hmm. very heavy snow. So it looked beautiful, sticking everywhere. The trees were all white. Yeah. It was beautiful it scenes out really there. It was really pretty there. It was absolutely beautiful. So I've, um, I've always wanted to do it. I've, there's a few places like in the UP I know I've done it. I think there's a place in around the Northwoods. I'm not 100% sure, but have you ever been sled dog racing before or just been on like a sled for when dogs pull you? No, actually never. That was okay. my first time. So it was actually an amazing time. I had a great time. You know, Alaska in general was just mm -hmm. absolutely beautiful, but I've yeah. always wanted to go over there. <laughs> <laughs> absolutely. But now let's uh, get on to our second package with certain parts of the country are on spring break now. One northern Iowa student is hoping to break a record by running across the state of Iowa. Paul Noble started the trip across the state on Sunday in the town of Muscatine. The fastest known time in four days, 15 hours and 30 minutes held by Taylor Ross. Noble has ran a couple of ultra marathons in the past. Noble will run for 17 hours a day and with the only downtime for sleeping and eating. If everything goes according to plan, Noble is expecting to finish his run Wednesday evening. So that's absolutely incredible. Mm -hmm. um, I, I, I want to give this guy a handshake for doing something like yeah, this. Yeah, for so. sure. It's almost like the, um, oh, what's the movie, Forrest Gump, where he <laughs> ran across the country there. <laughs> yes, yes. I, at all, I'm just going to run back now. I love seeing pe people being just so athletic and just yeah. putting themselves just to do something like this. I love it. Now, you being in the National Guard, yes. I would imagine you had to run quite long distances from time to yes, time. Yes, yes. Is this <laughs> something you'd be uh, equipped to doing? So we, we've ran a lot. We've run with rucksacks. We've ran, you know, I was actually the, the front guy with the flag running around okay. so that was very interesting but we have we didn't run as that long you know maybe a couple hours of running but nothing like what yeah, he's doing up 17 there. hours of running <laughs> oh that. my it's god that's insane crazy amount of running i don't <laughs> yeah. know if i could oh, i definitely couldn't do that but it's a crazy <laughs> amount but good luck to him hopefully he can do yes. that and maybe we'll see him uh, in the news here fairly shortly yes so. yes i hope so <laughs> well high tea took on a whole new meaning recently the english tradition uh, of a tea party was held on the world's tallest mountain. Climber Andrew Hughes and his crew reached Everest in May of 2021. And then they decided to set a unique precedent by having a mountaintop tea party at 21,312 feet. Guinness Book of World Records confirms it is the highest tea party ever held. And that is definitely really cool. Another one of these athletic moments of trying to climb Everest. I, I'm definitely not equipped to go on that high. I haven't even been to the uh, out west into the mountains at all, so I don't. I doubt I can do that. Yeah. So uh, speaking of about that trip in Alaska, we I was actually in the Denali Mountains, and they were okay. almost as tall as what, what they were on. So yeah, is very. It, there's a mountain range like in this. I think it's in the southeastern part of the state. That's like the highest uh, peak in the um, in the U.S. I believe Mount. I can't think of the name of this. It's going <laughs> to bother sure. me. But All I know the big winner is yeah. Mount Everest for, yeah, sure. for sure. Like 29,000. That's crazy. <laughs> yes, yes.